Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of Path and Full Stack course for beginners. So let's get started. So guys, in this video, we'll be making an artificial intelligent chatbot. So let's right get into it. So the first thing we need to do is to install some modules. So we'll just directly head over to the terminal and we'll say pip install pyttt sx3. This is a module just for voice input and we also need to install one other module which is speech recognition as you must have guessed by the name it is just for recognizing the speech so i'm just quickly going to install my speech recognition and make sure to spell it correctly and um, they don't have any spaces in between so the modules are installed now we just need to import them so i'm just gonna say import my speech recognition and similarly import my PYTT SX3 for my voice input. Make sure to spell it correctly. And I'm gonna import my speech recognition as SR just to make it a bit shorter. Now I need to define my engine. And I'm gonna set my engine to my PYTT SX3 dot init. So it's just another class. So I'm just gonna, uh, so I'm just initializing my engine to PYTT dot SX3 dot init. Now I'm going to set some properties of my engine. So I'm going to set my voice and I'm going to set it equal to my engine dot get property. Now in it has a get property and set property and I'm going to pass the parameter of the name of the property and I'm going to say my voices. So there are certain types of voice in this. So I'm going to set my engine voice. So I'm going to say engine dot set property. And I'm going to pass the first parameter as the name of the property, which is voice. And second property as my voice, which is my variable. Now this variable is a list of voices. So I'm going to just pass zero in here, dot ID. So you can change it to zero or one just to change the gender of the voice. Like uh, the zero stands for the first index, which has a male voice. And if you set it to one, then it will just um speak as a female one let's let's make it say something so i'm going to say engine dot say and let's pass something like hi i am um steve and after this we need to say engine dot run and wait so this is what we need to make the bot say so let's try running it hi i am steve and as you can see, it just said, hi, I'm Steve, and in a male format. We can just change it to one to make it female. And I'm going to say Alicia because male can't be, female can't be Steve. Now we can change some other properties also, like let's say engine.set property. And let's change the rate of speaking. Rate of speaking is just the tempo you can say. So I'm going to set the tempo as 200. I found 200 as the best tempo. You can change it according to yourself. And similarly, we can also set the volume, but actually we don't really require volume. So I'll just skip it. It's, it's not very really handy to use this again and again. So we're just going to define a function for that. And we're going to name a function speak. And we need to pass the query, which is my parameter. Like what do we need to speak? So this will be our parameter and I'm going to indent them. And instead of I am Alicia, I'm going to say my query. So whatever we'll pass in here, the bot will just say it. Now our speaking function is done. Now let's use real AI. So what are we going to do is we're going to define a function for command. And we need not to pass any parameter in it. And we're going to set a variable R to my SR, which is my speech recognition dot module dot recognizer. I make sure to add parentheses because it's a function. Now I'm going to open my SR, SR dot microphone, which is another function, put parentheses as my source. So this is a source is just opening it as source. I'm going to say R dot adjust. And is, as you can see, it says adjust for ambient noise. I'm just going to click it. And I'm going to open. And here you can see it requires a parameter source and duration. So by default, duration is equal to one. So we can even skip it, but you can change it according to yourself. And we're going to pass the source, which uh, we open like that. And let's make the duration as one so that 
for the ones who need to change they can get an idea of how to change it i'm gonna say print and let's say speak sir this is just to inform the user that yes you can speak now so after that we'll define a variable audio and i'm gonna set it equal to r dot listen r is my sr dot recognizer and i'm gonna listen my source after this is done let's do try and accept so what is try and accept we haven't done try and accept yet but let me give you a glimpse of it try and accept is just like it will try something and it if it that if that shows an error then it will just move to accept we aren't going in any details so i'll just uh, demonstrate that only so what i'm gonna say is i'm just firstly gonna print out my r dot recognize google and i'm gonna pass the parameters the first parameter will be my audio and the second parameter will be my language so i'm gonna set my language as n slash us you can also set it to uk it's your choice now we are also going to define a variable which will be my query so query is whatever the user speaks so i'm just gonna copy it because my query will be equal to this and in the accept statement i'm gonna say print out for me so i'm just gonna print sorry couldn't recognize could you speak that again and similarly i'm gonna speak this simultaneously I'm just gonna copy it and in the next line I'm gonna say speak for me the same stuff and after this I'm just gonna call my command function again so why do we need this why do we need this accept statement this is just like when we use Google or Alexa when we press the make button it just listens whatever we say and we, if we don't say anything or it is not able to recognize what we said then it says sorry couldn't recognize so it's just similar to that after this we're just looping this like if um, it couldn't listen then it will again call the command function again so after this is done we're just going to return our query so why do we need to return this we are just going to return so that we can store it in the variable and we can do certain functions with it let's create a while loop and i'm going to say while true so while true means that this function will be carried out for forever and i'm going to set a variable which will be my query i'm gonna set my variable to my command so the as you remember command stores the value of my query so this is my command variable and this query is storing the value of this return query whatever the user speaks now we know what the user speaks so we can do certain functions with it like i can say if your name your name is like let's say i'll say what is your name or what your name is so the um, user can say certain stuff like that so for those cases i'm just saying if your name in query so this means that whatever the user speaks but if your name is in the query then we want to do some stuff and i'm gonna say speak my name is alicia so this is pretty straightforward again and after this we're gonna pass so you'll know why i'm saying this and we can even create some elif statement and i'm gonna say if and so let's create one list for that first so what i'm gonna say is i'm gonna say let's say greet i'm gonna create a list and i'm gonna put certain stuff in it so i just created a list of certain stuff like hello hi and i just made it high because sometimes it's uh, recognition recognizes or high as sai so that's why i said hey there what's up and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say if my query in um, if i could spell query correctly isn't my greet greet is just my list which i just created so if i say hi hey hi um, stuff like that then what i'm going to do is i'm just firstly going to import my random module you'll know why do i need random and i'm gonna say my word is equal to random dot choice and i'm gonna pass my list which is greet and after i'm gonna make my bot say my word and similarly i'm gonna pass again and i'm also gonna create an else statement and what i'm gonna do in else statement is like let's say user says something for which we don't have one command so we can say speak sorry i don't have a command for so okay so it's done after that i'm just gonna pass again 
Now let's try running it. Hi. Hi. And as you can see, it responded with hi, and I'm gonna say what's up. Okay, so it just, it just, it just recognized my voice as sorry, what, I don't what's have a up. For and it says sorry, I don't have a command for that. And I'm gonna say hey there. Hello. And it says hello. So it's just done. And as you must have figured, it's not really handy to just make the duration one. You can increase the duration as you must have figured by my experience. And now we have made the framework of a bot. So it's really simple to create a bot. Now for certain functions, like let's say wishing, a, wishing you are your birthday, creating notes and creating some reminders opening certain apps like word searching google youtube wikipedia and uh, whatnot there are a lot many functions you can do this by auto gy you can take screenshot even so ai chatbot is really handy so keep up with this in the future videos we'll be creating certain functions which i just mentioned and if you don't know about my series then go check out my series which is path and full slack course for beginners and you can even implement it for discord like you want it to work for discord then you can also do that we'll be doing all of this stuff in my future videos so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next video